One of the many things to be thankful for this Thanksgiving is we're finally making progress in the culture war. As Andrew Breitbart famously stated years ago, politics is downstream from culture, meaning if you can change the culture, then the laws are going to change to reflect that culture. And we've seen the left completely poison our culture, poison pop culture, mainstream media, social media, education, corporate policies, but now that conservatism is the counterculture making a resurgency and people are finally growing a spine to push back, we're having events like this. Walmart just ended their DEI, their diversity, equity, and inclusion policies. This from the New York Times. Walmart, once eager to promote diversity, which of course is a code word meaning less white people, anti-whiteism, Pulls back amid conservative pressure. Yeah. Axios, another one of these online wastes of cyberspace, laments that Walmart won't be the last company to pull back on DEI. And as you'll see, they certainly aren't the first because this is a growing trend. Conservatives fighting back against corporate DEI may have scored their biggest victory yet. Walmart, the nation's largest private employer, just announced it is rolling back its diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives. They're anti-white initiatives, and we're going to continue changing the culture, and maybe in 2025, we could finally get some of the mainstream conservatives, the Conservative Inc. political pundits and talk show hosts, start using the proper language, the proper terminology for this anti-whiteism. Made outcries over so-called corporate wokeism and claims that DEI is more divisive than inclusive. Walmart says it's ending racial equity training programs for staff. He means ending indoctrinating the staff with anti-white propaganda. Evaluating programs designed to increase supplier diversity. Meaning stocking products from BIPOC-owned companies, black, indigenous, or people of color. Not because those products are better. Oftentimes they're not any good at all, but specifically only because they're granting favoritism to non-white-owned suppliers. Reviewing funding of pride events and removing sexual or transgender products marketed to children. Now, Walmart defends the move, saying, quote, we have been on a journey and know we aren't perfect, but every decision comes from a place of wanting to foster a sense of belonging. What they mean is catering to the 1% of the lunatics in this country who have TikTok brain and other obvious disorders is actually driving normal customers away. Stay tuned because there's plenty more to come this video, but real quick, speaking of products from a white business owner, Everything from my online store at markdice.com is now on sale. You can save 20% off this whole weekend by using the promo code Black Friday. And that includes off the Trump Claus sweatshirt and t-shirt and the new MAGA Christmas and Happy Four More Years shirts and any of my awesome designs, all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code Black Friday at the checkout to save 20% off this whole weekend. And check them out! But Walmart isn't the only major company whose wokeness may be going into remission. There are a lot of major corporations that have been quietly doing away with their DEI policies over the last few months because... They know finally that white people have had enough and are starting to sue them for their systemic anti-whiteism. Just last month, Toyota sent a memo to their employees saying that they were going to end DEI and narrow their community activities to align with STEM education, that's science, technology, education, and math, and workforce readiness. In other words, they're going to start focusing on people who are actually qualified for the job. Back in July, the John Deere tractor company announced that they were going to be ending their didn't earn it efforts, their DEI efforts after conservative backlash, meaning finally conservatives started pushing back and started using the tactics that have been very popular and successful amongst the left, just really just barraging these companies with a bunch of facts and memes in order to shame them into ending their ridiculousness. But the fact that John Deere sadly succumbed to... The liberal pathogen shows just how pervasive it is. Even Harley Davidson, the motorcycle company, which then later dropped their DEI policies back in August. As CBS News points out, after pressure from diversity critics, Harley Davidson said that they were ditching, oh, some, just it's, just, it's a start, it's better than nothing, some of their DEI goals, a move that comes after it faced pressure from anti diversity critics on social media. See, we could harness the power of social media to name and shame these scum. The iconic motorcycle manufacturer follows John Deere 
and Tractor Supply, which both made similar decisions to scratch their diversity programs earlier this summer. Also back in August, the Ford Motor Company put an end to their DEI policies, telling employees that they will no longer participate in an annual survey from an LGBTQ advocacy group. That's the uh, Human Rights Campaign. They're the ones who are literally just a lobbying organization, and they grade companies. They grade Hollywood studios. They grade video game manufacturers and then harass them if there aren't enough LGBTQ characters in video games. So they're one of the primary driving forces behind all of this crap that you see in Hollywood and in corporate America. And so now Ford Motor Company is no longer going to participate with them. Also, early this summer, Lowe's changed, well, at least some of their DEI policies amid legal attacks, they say, against lawsuits from people like Stephen Miller, who will thankfully be the deputy chief of staff of President Trump come January 20th. In an internal memo shared by Lowe's with the Associated Press, its executive leadership said that the retailer began reviewing its programs following the Supreme Court's decision last July, July of 2023, when they ruled that affirmative action was obviously discrimination and illegal. And Lowe's also will not participate in an annual survey by the human rights mafia, the human rights campaign, that measures workplace inclusion for LGBTQ plus employees. Literally, they're upset that there aren't enough LGBTQ people at major corporations. And so they've strong-armed many of them into filling out these surveys. Imagine asking employees, hey, by the way, what's your pronouns? Are you gay? There's too many straight people in this company. The changes are made to ensure Lowe's policies are lawful and aligned with its commitments to include everyone. <laughs> I mean, the list just goes on and on. Molson Coors pumps the brakes on DEI practices and... You're going to see a lot more of this, or we're going to see a lot more of this, like when Starbucks got sued for firing a white manager to appease the Black Lives Matter insurgency back in 2020, and then a jury awarded her over $25 million, and then it gets even better because then the compensatory damages, those are the two different things, punitive is to punish, compensatory damages are to compensate the loss, so then the compensatory damages came in at $2.7 million. And once Donald Trump takes the oath of office next year on January 20th and becomes our next commander in chief again, then clowns like this will be dismissed. One of the goals here is actually how do we get uh, more African Americans in position of leadership, in positions of, of in aviation, and, and, and that's one of the challenges. And I'll tell you, that's... It is a challenge, sir, sadly, because so many of them have misplaced priorities. And for some reason, there still is a cultural rot in the black community when... People insult their fellow black people, calling them Oreos when they're educated because they equate education and intelligence with white people. Then you've got big problems. And hiring and promoting people who aren't qualified for positions just because of their race isn't actually going to address the cause of the problem. Also, thankfully to the Trump administration doing away with DEI, our soldiers serving in the military can thankfully kiss these clowns goodbye. I was patient, yeah. Oh, I was patient. Hey, oh. Now I can scream that we made it. She was like, oh my God, I could never wear that. And I was like, let me show you how to. Abracadabra, these bitches know I got answers. Could you imagine having to serve in the military alongside these people and actually having to put up with this crap? All they wanted was the right to get married, they said. And then they wanted to go into the military. Then they wanted to start adopting children. And then they wanted to start dressing in drag while in uniform. Go back in the closet and leave us alone, ma'am. But speaking of closets, you should fill yours with some of the awesome shirts from my online store, MarkDice.com, which you can save 20% off of this whole week and weekend by using the promo code Black Friday at the checkout. <laughs> It's creative, I know. Now is the time to order your Trump Claus sweatshirt or t-shirt for those in warmer climates to make Christmas dinner extra special this year. Or the MAGA Christmas and a happy four more years shirt. The Cat Lives Matter shirt, the classic Trump fight, fight, fight. Trump in the Matrix, Christ is King, Liberalism, Find a Care, the MAGA Mafia, Teflon Don, and Appeal to Heaven, or any of my awesome designs. All available to t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code BLACKFRIDAY to save 20% off this whole week and weekend. And check them out!